Nigerian Senate has expressed displeasure over certain clauses in the 2010 Electoral Act Amendment Bill, which forwarded by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The bill which scaled through the second reading came under intense scrutiny by lawmakers at plenary. As a result, the debate sections, they say, are unrealistic and would generate controversies in the future. This is the fourth attempt by lawmakers to re-amend the bill, which was refused assent by Nigeria's president, Muhammad Bukhari, over claims it contravened several sections of the constitution. Our correspondent, Amadine Uyi, reports. The 2010 Electoral Amendment Act had been the source of controversies in the last few weeks. The chairman of the Senate Committee on INEC, Senator Suleiman Nazif comments the debate on the floor of the Senate by presenting the committee's report. You will recall that Electoral Act Amendment Bill 2010 was passed by the National Assembly and forwarded to the President for assent. Recall also that pursuant to Section 58, 4 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, the President declined assent due to the following observations. A. There is a cross-referencing error in the proposed amendment to Section 18 of this bill. The appropriate amendment is to substitute the existing subsection 2 for the proposed subsection 1A, while the proposed subsection 1B is the new subsection 2A. Other lawmakers took time to analyze the bill, expressing displeasure over several sections as proposed by INEC. I suggest that if you look at this section 140, there are previous subsections there that suggests that seeks to ask candidates or their parties to look at the logo because they'll print the logo and display them before the election. Then you are now required or expected to either object or approve of it. Election expenses. Uh, Mr. President, I don't think uh, this is quite realistic. And uh, I don't think it is uh, good enough for us to pass a law that uh, we all know that cannot, uh, uh, cannot pass the litmus test. A presidential election limit is 5 billion. <laughs> the governorship is 1 billion. And the president of the third candidate will cover 36 states and the federal capital territory. Uh, that provision has no relationship to the expenses any of these candidates will incur. While the Senate agreed to refer the amendment to its committee on INEC, one lawmaker urged the committee to be thorough and nationalistic. When this is referred to the committee, the committee should take all the views that are expressed here and so many other views that may not be expressed here, take all of them into consideration and come up with uh, something that is acceptable. The bill has been refused assent by President Muhammad Dubuari on three different occasions. It is hoped that the latest amendment will resolve disparities between the executive and the legislature. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.